Hi friends, you are welcome back. This is card level 100. We are going to proceed from where we have stopped in the previous lesson. So this is the second lesson in this series. So if you are in the first and the second lesson, you can look at the description of this video. Here we have a link. So as to be in the last two lessons for better understanding. And so in this lesson of today, we are going to be loading this structure. We are going to be loading this structure. After which, we will set material, and analyze the structure, and design all the structural elements successfully in this lesson. So you have to stay tuned if you are yet to subscribe to the channel. Support the channel by subscribing as a video on advanced lesson using different engineering softwares to be made on this particular channel. And so let's get started. For the loading, we are going to be loading this DPC because this DPC is going to be this, this DPC beam is going to be carrying uh, uh, some blocks. Okay, we're going to be carrying some blocks like wall loads, it's going to be carrying walls as well as the first floor, second floor, and some part of the third floor. All right, so right away, we want to select one of these beams, this one. And then we right click and then we we come to edit beam wall load in the edit beam wall load dialog this one we are going to be providing the wall unit weight we are going to take it to be 3.47 the wall height we take it to be 2.8 the reason why i use 2.8 is i'm trying to subtract the depth of the beams Right, so for the wall thickness, we are taking to, taking to be 0 0.225, just like that. So, this is the altogether is 9.72 kN parameters, right? Which is the wall load. Click on OK to insert that. So, this is a wall load. We are supposed to open a window here, yeah? but if you want to do that, that is not an issue. You can come to this edit. The wall load having this just like this come to edit opening so with this edit opening provisions you can be able to create add an opening here and be able to create an openings for the windows all right but we are going to leave the windows closed so we can be able to design for the worst conditions so i have to delete that click on ok and then ok here ok here as well so for us to apply this wall load to all of the beams at this dpc level we are going to Navigate to the story one, uh, expand the beams, select the first beams right there. Before then, we have to copy this beam wall load. So, select the beam wall load right away, right click in the drop down menu, navigate to copy beam wall load right there. After we select the first beam, hold the shift key and select the last beam right there. So, we see all of the beam is being selected. So, with the, all of the beams selected just like this, you just have to right click, then you navigate to the provision where they said best copied beam loads, or you just do control V. So you click right there and select the yes options to paste the beam wall load just like this. So you can see that particular uh, uh, section is being loaded successfully. And for this particular floor, the same thing is applicable to this floor. Select this first beam, all right. Uh, we are supposed to edit that, but since we have already copied B wall load for this floor, we can use it for this uh, first floor. Or well, from DPC, we can use it for the first floor right there. So minimize that, expand the story to, and um, then select the first beam right there. Hold the shift key, select the last beam to get all the beams selected just like this. So right click again and then select paste copied beam load. Yes, options. So you have that. You can see. The same thing is applicable to this second floor. We will have to expand that. Okay. Navigate to that uh, top floor and expand that. Select the first. And then hold this control key. The last to get all the beams selected. Right click and then press copy it. Beam wall load just like that. So you can see we have loaded the DPC. We have also loaded the first floor. We have loaded the second floor for the third floor now this is how we do it you will as well navigate to the 
fourth story, expand the beam, select the first one, or the shift key, select the last one. So for this beam and this was, they are not carrying any wall load. So what you need to do is, you have the control key and select it, so they will be deselected. All right? This one is deselected because it's not carrying any wall load. Okay? As well as this beam, you have to deselect it. They are non load bearing beam. Okay? So you navigate through the structure. This one is not carrying any load as well. So you have to deselect it. So having all of this just like this, right click and then paste the copy beam wall of the S options to have that. So you'll be having something of this kind at this level. So we have loaded this structure successfully. If you want to actually see and reduce the intensity of the wall load, what you need to do, you come to this setting right away and then navigate to layers and color setting. So in the drop down, in the uh, dialog, you will scroll down to where you have partitions. You scroll down to partitions. Scroll down to partitions, okay? So here is partitions, partition wall, okay? So you have to just have to increase this, you just have to increase this, uh, the opacity of it then you click on ok so you can see how it now looks okay it look more dense now so you can make it more gray by going back right there and open right here navigate to that same uh, partitions wall this one and then change this color to this click on ok apply it so you have this right so the beam are well loaded now but the next thing we have to look at is to set a material maybe if you want to load an additional life load you can use what we call a slab, slab line load this one you need to apply load on the slab life load like the load from chai chair and other uh, loads from a uh, Objects that can be bring into the house and as well removed from the house. Now, use light load is basically on the slab, okay? But we may not consider that in this design. So, we will proceed to save the project first. After which, we proceed to setting material and generating loading combinations. Set material and generating load combinations. So if I will do that, come to analysis, click a building analysis. So in this building analysis dialog, the first tab is parameter tab under pre-analysis. These are the codes we are using. We consider your codes for this design. For the foundations, the allowable soil stress, we consider here is uh, 140 kilonewton per square meter. Okay, for the title of the project, you can give it any title, the residential. Residential building, okay. Just like this. So after you can see the made by kind of 100 engineer levels and the code, you have to compute all of that. Click on OK. All right. The next thing is the loading combinations. So you just have to click on the loading combinations. Click on generate loadings. Then we have to consider good wind load and we also consider uh, the, the the normal load as a vertical or horizontal load. So for the wind load, you have to activate that, okay? To activate that for the wind load, all right? For us to be able to set wind load, we need to activate this. Very important. Click on OK to generate the load these combinations. Successful. Just like this. OK option again to have that done. So you now go straight away to wind and store the loads, okay? In this dialog, we have automatic wind load calculator. Yeah, click right there. It includes the wind uh, speed, okay, in meter per seconds. We are having 45 meter per seconds over the site of these constructions, right? You have that, okay? You just have to click on apply it. And you see the wind load will be calculated and generated successfully, okay? Click on okay. That has been said. The next thing we need to say is the material. 
click on the material. So in the material dialog, we select the columns. The concrete grade we will be considering is C25, C20, 25. We apply this to all of the material. Click on OK. Then the grade right there, we will use the grade 460. Apply this to all of the material. Click on OK. So you need to select the rebars for now. Okay. We take Y16, 20, and Y25 for the columns. All right. Click on OK. We don't have walls, but we have beams, so we have to change the rebar for beams 16. We we'll take 16, we we'll take 20, we we'll take 25 also for beams. Okay, click on OK. Then for the slabs, we are going to take 12 and 16. All right, the program we analyze and then make use of any of that two we selected. Click on OK. Then uh, for the links, we are going to take 10 and 12. With the intention that we are going to use 10 for the design, all right? Click on OK. For the foundations, links will be looking at 12 mm diameter and 16 mm diameter, just like this, okay? Click on OK. Then for this, we change it to 20, apply the 20 slash 25, great, apply it to all, click on OK. Yes, you use a 460. Concrete grade for steel grade 460 type 2. Applied it to all click on OK. And then OK again. In these provisions, we are done with the settings of the materials as well as the loadings. Close this dialog now. First of all, save the project. After you save the project, the next thing you have to do is to set the material in such a way that they are selective during analysis so you first come to the columns here yeah, under setting the drop down menu column design setting click right there all right so in this provisions go straight away to steel bars and then longitudinal bars so you can be able to select the minimums which is 16 and the maximum which is 25 so our selections is not in order in this provision click on ok go back to analysis again building analysis Then navigate to this material again. Check this. You notice things has changed here. So we change 16 and we choose only 16, 20, and uh, T25. Okay. So I have to reselect this again for all of the members because the effect was not actually applied successfully. Okay. Click on OK. And then for the slab, we make the changes successfully. Just like that. Click on OK for the links 10 and 12 only. Click on OK for the foundation. We have uh, 16 and 12. Click on OK. OK again. OK and save the project again. So go back to setting again, you check the columns again, up to steel bar, longitudinal bar. So you can see this has no steel in place. We needed only three bars and not up to four bars. So that we don't have a we not have a, a mix of bars that we wouldn't want it to appear in our columns. Save the project again. You have to do this to ensure that uh, you don't have a mix of bar for ease of editing of your designs. So we have only this bar selected. Okay, again, okay, again. Close this dialog. Come over here again to check that. Steel bar. Longitudinal bars. Okay, so this is what I expected, actually. You must ensure that you have only the bars you selected right there. So come to links. This is the minimum that is the maximum, right? Come to list. So in the list, yeah, the minimum, yeah, we take 10, all right? Click on OK. Then go back to setting again. This time around, beam design settings, story beams. In this dialog, come over to parameter. You can see only the minimum was selected, the maximum was not selected. So you have to select maximum, just like this, all right? After which, you click on save. 
go back to setting again and this time around slap setting in this slap setting go to stable in stable you can see stop is using a uh, teeth proof diameter okay okay options go back to setting again this time around foundation setting all right in the foundation setting you have a minimum stable and the distribution bars you have this and that okay so you have a 16 span one support 12 gates so this you can change that to 12 all right and system just like that after which click on okay all right so we have successfully selected all the necessary ring bars we needed and we have loaded the structure now we want to analyze the structure before then here we have to save this project click on save by the way After the project is saved successfully, you navigate to the analysis tab. Click right there, building analysis. And then you navigate straight away to building to analysis tab. Check the structures for errors. So click on building check and then start options. You know the structure has a zero error. So we are good to analyze the structure right away. Close this dialog. Come to this provision, ask the provider to design the columns, the bins, alright, without have steam members, yeah, so we are not going to check that, alright, we proceed, click on the start, to start analysis, right away, so you can see, there's a story once, height value is very close, or equals to zero, process cancel, alright, so the story one level, so you have to close this, this is very close, that's what they are saying, okay, and this is, 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 is very close to the foundations, which is the DPC. Alright? So what we need to do is to edit the story one. So for you to do that, you come straight away to view the set out and then click on edit. Alright? So in story one, you can see the idea is 0450. Okay, so we are supposed to have a story one to be uh, 900 right away. Okay, 900. That is it. Okay. Sorry, 1.2, 1200, which is the depth of the foundations. Okay. So after which, click on OK. Click here to apply that effect and OK options. Yes, options. So you are not having this. All right. So now the analysis can be done. Save the project first. Proceed to the analysis tab, did an analysis, analysis tab again, design columns and beams successfully, right away click on start analysis. So you see analysis is in progress now. So you give the progress on time to analyze the structures and as well design the structural elements. So analysis and design is going to be done successfully. Now it is program designing the reinforced uh, columns right away. So after the reinforced column design is successful, you design the beams as well. So the build analysis is successful. So we have done the with the loading analysis and design. In the next lesson, we'll be producing drawing. Out of this, we'll be doing some editing. After which, we'll be able to produce drawing of this uh, design successfully. So you have to stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lessons. Bye for now.